What's going on YouTube? This is Retro Germany. Today I'm going to show you how to update your PSP system by using your mobile hotspot from your Android phone. I would recommend you not using the 32 megabyte uh, memory card or memory stick Pro Dual. I would use something a little higher. I actually got 128 megabytes and that will actually do just to do a system update. So again, this is just doing an update. This is not modifying it. This is not doing anything else. Um, I noticed over the time of when you have certain games, when it's not updated, sometimes you're on a smaller firmware from the factory and you try to play your newer games. It doesn't let you do that. Or sometimes you uh, buy from the internet or buy off somebody or you decide to pull it out of the closet. And you're like, hey, I want to play some old games and it will not let you update. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do this by updating it. Okay, so if you have an Android phone, this is what you want to do is go to your mobile hotspot, configure it, turn it on, and then we're going to configure it. So as you see, I already have my name already on here. So what you want to do is configure it mobile hotspot, your security, usually it will be on your WPA2 PSK. So what you want to do is tap on this and then put open and then you can choose a name for however you want to do it. Um, if you go to advanced settings, you can how many people you want to access the port or how many people you want on uh, to be on there with. So we're just going to be choosing one, save your configurations, and then we'll go back to the PSP. And then, But first off, make sure it is turned on, and now we'll head back to the PSP. Okay, now that we're back with the PSP, uh, what you want to do is make sure that this is on. So that will be off, turn this back on, go to new connection, go to scan, and it should pull up, uh, there we go, Retro Jeremy, and it says 100% signal is uh, good, so we'll click on that. Uh, what you want to do is, it's, since there's no security, see it has the WPA, WPA, so, um, and WEP, so we're on none of those, so just hit none easy uh, here's my name that I had put for the mobile hotspot and keep going that we are saving the connections just give it a few seconds and should pop up there we go guys so we have retro Jeremy so this is just the easier way just to kind of update so that way you're not having to go through your computer you're not having to go to the actual uh, Sony PlayStation's uh, uh, firmware update on the internet um, now you'll be able to access more games so when you go back so you just go to system update uh, and then you would click this option and then there you go click the name I already had updated for this so it's not gonna let me do it uh, again but it'll show you say the latest firmware on the system software has already been installed there is no need to update um, to double check after you're done doing your update, go to system settings, sense of information, and this will tell you 66.1 of your version of that. So there you go, guys. That's an easy way to do that. Oh, another option. Sorry, before I let this video go, uh, if you want to just check in here, uh, the PlayStation Store for the PSP no longer works, but if you do download it from your actual you go to your uh, PlayStation Network account and you can purchase a couple of PSP games and you can download it from here but I advise you to hook up to a PS3 because it will take a very long time um, but if you already have games and physical copy then you will no longer need to do this so thank you thanks for watching